Well, there's a new production coming to the West Sale Mine True Stories and Legends of the Porcupine Gold Rush. A 60 minute journey back in time to a world of bootlegger bandits, dog sledders, and moonshiners. To tell us more is producer from Chasing Shadows Productions, Susan Robinson, and writer performer Will Gillespie. Tell us about the show. That was beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's the uh, title track. I love it. Uh, mine. Yes, of course, it's mine. Mine, 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 mine. mine, mine. mine. <laughs> anyway. You said you weren't singing. Uh, <laughs> I'll make the exception this morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah. So, uh, performer and writer. That's right. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, researcher. There was uh, lots of research went into this. I bet. Oh, yeah, because uh, we're you know, distilling uh, about 16 different people's lives into three and a half minutes apiece, kind of thing. Wow. You know, so, uh, yeah, so luckily, you know, we had lots of time and the support of the Ontario Arts Council and the Timmins Museum. Mm -hmm. in, in this so and shout out to Karen Bachman she's been a, an enormous help uh, we're actually using a lot of the historical photographs from the museum's collection yes um, right I was reading about that that's very cool in the yeah. production yeah so the the very people places and things that will and the band will be singing about we actually have it up on screen oh that's so neat yes okay. and being at the Westdale a, a beautiful historic building and mm -hmm. then seeing uh, right up on the big screen uh, Susan's paintings as the backdrops you know to make it feel like a like an old-fashioned uh, play very theatrical kind of thing uh, and rather than making full backdrops we're just projecting them and then we have uh, historical photos uh, from yeah the region uh, provided by the Timmins Museum themselves so and that's of course great. Will wrote the play and is performing all of the songs with a, a bluegrass band of local musicians Wow! Yeah, we'll have a banjo player uh, an accordion player an upright bass it's gonna be a lot of fun a hoot and a love this. yeah how did the concept kind of come to be how did you guys think about this oh well um, Will's hometown, he grew up in South Porcupine, and I remember the first time Will brought What's me the up there. the population of South Porcupine? Oh, I, it's in, it's, <laughs> five, in, it's 5, like 000. less than 10,000, yeah, 5,000 yeah. wow. to 10,000. It's a small yeah. town, it has one traffic light. Oh, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. But um, I remember being fascinated by the history, and it's so beautiful up there, uh, the, the, the mm -hmm. skies at night and, and the trees, and it, it's such a beautiful place. But then learning about the history, I was fascinated. I, I grew up in Oshawa, and it's very suburban. And yeah, there's way different. A little different. <laughs> Not <laughs> a lot of trees. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few, but um, no, just learning about the history. And uh, I said, Will, this is an incredible history. I, I don't have a clue, and I'm sure a lot of people down south, they, they, they're missing out. Yeah. It's uh, bootlegger bandits and high graders and dog sledders and all of these characters. All of these actual people came from all over the world to try to get rich. And uh, a lot of what we're, we're telling um, story-wise, it's underdog characters. Mm -hmm. So, so lesser-known uh, people and their lives. And uh, yeah, it's all in song form. It's, well, it's all in folk music. Yeah, and like the people behind the legends, right? So right. again, with uh, all that research, it's like, so the, the legends are pretty fascinating. But then when you find out, uh, you know, you dig a little deeper, uh -huh. you know, yeah, <laughs> then, then you find uh, the real gold is like uh, sometimes buried a bit further. And yeah, sometimes the, uh, the truth is even more entertaining than fiction, you know? So, oh, I believe it. You know, so that's why uh, we call it uh, True Stories and Legends. So we've got yeah. a little bit of both. And yeah, after the, um, after we do it at the Westdale, we're mm -hmm. bringing it up north back to where it really happened. We'll be playing it in Cobalt, Ontario on May 26th and uh, uh, in Timmins at the museum itself. Oh, that's wonderful. On uh, the 30th and 31st. So. Mm -hmm. it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a busy month for you guys then well we're looking forward to hitting the road yeah, yeah now what's the fun. one thing that you hope audiences take away from the show well I hope they have fun yeah and and uh, what happened uh, when we did it uh, as a shorter uh, solo version for Hamilton Fringe and we did a little tour of fringe festivals uh, last year what really struck us was uh, how a lot of people left and and they were sort of excited and curious mm -hmm. you know so I'm hoping people uh, so come out. Gonna go home and Google it. Yeah, Google it. And yeah. See that most of it, you know, the legends or or uh, the real stories. And also too, um, a lot of people came up to us after the show. Mm -hmm. We had one lady in particular. She was very excited. She said, "Oh, my dad was a miner in the Hollinger gold mine," and wow. she came back the next day with photographs. And one of the photographs of her father, uh, actually with a diamond drill in the mine, wow. is part of the show. 
And also we had an interview with CBC North mm -hmm. and we were contacted later, a musher, a professional dog sledder That's incredible. based in Timmins had a video clip wow. of historical um, dog sledding and, and the people that Will is actually singing about. Yeah, like so. an old black and white silent wow. film and we have a clip of that in the show too. And well, it's a small world. When word gets out, people <laughs> start talking, right? Now quickly, we just got a few seconds left. Where can people get tickets? Uh, at thewestdale.ca or at the Westdale itself.